morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Jad. I want to welcome to another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 18. This is Permadeath Season 1. I'm going to give you an apology firsthand. I've got a bit, I'm coming down from a cold, so I've still got a cough. I'll do my best to hit the pause button in time. But if it happens, it happens. So here's what we're going to do. I am password protected. If you happen to be a friend on Steam, send me a message. I will let you, I'll give you the password. And if you happen to be able to play and, and I'm playing Seven Days to Die, you can see if I happen to be in my Permadeath series. So here are my settings. We're going to do Adventure, 120 minutes. The reason 120 minutes is in the game day, I can get two episodes in. I won't be out and about at night because... That's too tough at the beginning. So we so I won't be recording at night. I'll be hiding in wherever my base is, at least for the beginning. We're going to go on seven-day horde. Zombie dates walk. Night and pharaohs are going to jog. Sprint for the blood moon. Profiles 200% XP multiplier. 150% block damage. Loot abundance a little bit better than normal. Gonna drop everything on death because once I die, that's it. Three days for the airdrop. Airdrop markers on. But here's the thing: I need you to leave comments in the comments in on my YouTube channel. What I want to do is, if I make it to the seven day horde on the eighth day, you can pick one of the three. Okay. First thing you can pick is. Uh, where is it? I'm losing it. Difficulty level. Sorry. You can pick the difficulty level. You can you can mark for the eighth through the fourteenth day. You can knock me up to nomad, or you can change my zombie speeds. You can pick one of these: daytime, nighttime, feral. You cannot touch Blood Moon. I will not change that, but I will let you change those two. One of those two. Or you could change my Blood Moon count. You can knock me up to 12 for the 14-day horde. So that's going to be up to the comments, and I will take the I will take the comment that says the most. So upgrade difficulty or change your zombie speed for feral. Or upgrade your moon blood moon count. And whoever one gets the most, that's going to be what I change for the 14-day horde and see if I can make it a 14 days. Every horde I survive, the viewers get a chance to upgrade something. So let's get our gamer's edge on and let's get started. I'm going to pause it and get into the game. This is pre-made. And I did forget one thing. Going across the screen is the seed that I'm using, getting my gamer's edge on. Type in that and you will see the exact layout that I've got. I will be back shortly. All right, we are spawning in. I will let you pause and read that if that's what you want to do. You can pause and read that one. And we have spawned into the desert. So let's get our gamers edge on. Let's get started getting our materials together, get our quest done. We're going to be picking up lots of aloe, lots of yucca when we come across it. That's how we're going to survive the desert for a while. I'm just waiting for my quest to pop up. Finally, craft the bedroll. Let's place our bedroll. Pick it up. We're going to scrap it because it really don't make a big difference for us. 
Sort out our inventory. I don't need that. Don't need that. Want to hold on to that. Okay. Wants us to gather enough plant fibers. Well, we need a few built. So. Oh, we need so we need stone, and I haven't found any yet, have I? So I guess we're gonna do this the hard. Well, we'll just run around and find stone. There's got to be there some more. Craft our axe. Get a lot from those, and the trees are not big. We got to hold on to all seeds if we're going to live in the desert. We have to plant our own trees. All right, let's just go ahead and get this done. Craft that. Craft that. We're going to want the gloves for some protection. I don't have enough. We're going to craft the hat and we're going to craft the shoes then we're going to wear it like it wants get that crafted We're looking for feathers now. Well, we need a good bit of stone here. Not getting a lot of wood. These trees don't have a lot. Finally. Okay, craft the bow. Craft what feather what arrows we do have. We're gonna need some more, so we gotta find more. Okay, we're going to craft about 25 to get us started. We're going to need this. Plus, we get some stone built up. But in the meantime, I will put that down. As soon as it gives me the go ahead, I will craft the wood stove. I'm not a wood stove, campfire. All 
All right, let's get this guy marked. Put a quick on him, but also put a big main marker on him. All right. Oh, we got our first customer. I kept missing that, didn't I? That's not good. That's a bad start for me. Yeah, this takes a bit, but we need it. I'm going to get into a forge as quick as possible. Plus, getting the stone doesn't hurt us. We're getting two things for what we're beating on, so that makes it better. And beating on more boulders. Last one. I won't go after the deepest one. All right. Let's spend our points. I want Pummel Pete, Sexual Tyrannosaurus, Healing Factor, Cardio, and the next level we get Iron Gut. So that means scrap him and build a new one because we get to get a level two. They're hitting me a lot. This is not going to be an easy. I'm looking for a certain water tower. So we're going to need a lot of wood to get started. I just scrap that.
these trees only being 300, that's not going to help us a lot. But the good part is the ones I plant grow better. I have a building in mind, a water tower in mind, and I have a build in mind. Oh, I don't know if I can beat him. We're going to try. That's what I was waiting for. Got him. Oh, well, that's good. A bag. Come on, give me something good. Honey, that's useful. Don't need the glass. Pills are good. Uh, we will not be taking that on until we have some good armor. I have a plan, so don't think I'm doing this for nothing. Okay, good. Okay, bag, give me something good. Scrap. Picking the high ground here so I can see what find my tower. Hopefully.
I see it right there. Right there, straight down that road. To the right, slightly to the right. Ah. That's the biggest, one of the biggest trees we've seen so far. I heard you. Ah, crawler, that's why I didn't see you. You'll see when we get there what I got planned out. It'll take a bit to get started. Another 50. Three power shots is what it's taken to me to knock them down. Got another thing. There's snakes in this area. Good. At least we have a source of meat when we find them. Big trees. I'm watching him to the right.
Unless I get headshots, they don't come down too easy. Gotta watch out for cactus. We're going to unlock bandage as quick as possible. There she is. We're going there. We'll get these trees on the way. We're going to be living on eggs, too, as soon as I can find a pot. I'll get those trees later. All right. The good part about this is the gate. Oh, no, we got to get him. Now, you want to check mailboxes. I didn't get anything. There's a vulture. In the desert, they attack. It's not good. I didn't tell it to do that. Need the glass. Got lots of sand. This helps me keep track of what my plan is. And slowly, I've got to knock all this metal out and build a wall up to support all this. Okay. 
I got to do this first layer. Okay, well, I want to thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've gone over 30 minutes as usual. So, you have a great day and good night and goodbye. And I'll do a little bit of work off camera while I'm inside the fence line. And then we'll I'll bring you back and we're going to go do something else. I'll be back. See you in the next episode. Bye.